Hello, 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 my love bugs. Once again, it's your girl, Lily Love, here with another message from the divine. As I always say, today, if you're hearing my voice, I ask that you harden not your heart, for I am just the messenger, and we are all here to witness and learn. Thank you guys for your likes, subscribes, shares, views, and memberships. Everything is greatly appreciated, my loves. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. Maybe get me a little agua florida. All right, let's get into it. Now, this deck jumped out the back yesterday. I have it in a beautiful case. It is so cute. I'm going to show my case. Look at it. I love it. I have it in a beautiful case, right? And it completely fell to the front. It some some some. It's a significance in this skull right now. Death for one, rebirth for another. Because someone maybe is being greedy. You see on the back of these cards. Someone I'm feeling like someone could possibly be doing some sort of maybe thinking about doing some blood magic. And then I'm hearing, I don't know what you came to do, girl. And what you came to do tonight. But I'm here to party. It's really giving me like somebody's fucking a beast. Somebody's like, thriller, thriller night. You know how like at the end, you know, everything was all what it was. And then at the end, that's when his eyes turned yellow behind her back. Like somebody's trying to beast out on you. Somebody wants to trick you. Somebody wants to call out to you. They're in a very, very dark energy. Okay, but you kind of cleanse this energy away from you. You always cleanse this energy away. You can feel when someone like this is is trying to surround you. Someone's trying to... And it's like, yeah, it's like you kind of got to... You got you to gotta spirit that lets you know what's going on beforehand so you can cleanse yourself of this energy. So that's kind of like saying in this message, there's nothing that you need to worry about. But this person is really like, I'm hearing narking out, like they need some holy water. This person needs prayer. This person really is like in their shadow side, their monstrous side, okay? They could have some sort of inkling for making potions and doing spells on people in order to get their way. And they're thinking or maybe putting something together that they want to give you. Okay, something about the elements. You have all the elements that protect you. All four elements that could possibly protect you. You're protected by Mother Nature. You're able to see through the veil. So basically, you're an earth angel. Okay, you could possibly be an herbalist. That's how you cleanse out a lot of this person's energy as well. Or you cleanse out this person's energy from the past. Um... Yeah, and you have all the elements that protect you. Basically, you're an earth angel. You're in a higher vibration, okay? And you're pretty witchy. And this person wanted to try to bake something to trick you, give you an apple, make you eat something maybe, or give you something to drink. This potion, this spell that they've been mixing up, <clears throat> this person could have possibly did it in the past. I'm also seeing on these trees, these ridges on these trees or whatever, they're looking like eyes. So this person does things in the dark they cloak themselves this person could possibly live double lives outside when everyone's looking at them they try to play it like you know oh i'm just innocent and this and then the third but this person has evil intentions and i think that's what kind of took them over were their evil intentions yeah and they pissed that you cleaned them out of your energy they don't like that. They don't like now that you have more protection. You have all around protection. You didn't have this protection at first, but now you do. So you've elevated <clears throat> with being in that higher vibration. You were able to see through the veil. Like I said, you had some sort of inkling. You were told that this person was on their way. This person was trying to get back into your energy. Um, maybe this person could possibly have been sending you uh, mental messages like uh you they they could possibly know that you're clear audience or they possibly try to connect with you mentally um through the veil okay so they could have been astral projecting to you but it's a lot of mem it's like a, i'm hearing memory a lot of mental things that this person they probably could have tried to drive you batshit crazy maybe you say you know like i be saying i heard i heard i heard maybe the holy spirit communicates with you and you do speak loud about it or you speak back with the holy spirit loud but this person did want to drive you crazy but i'm getting it's something about your memory and something that's rooted in your memory that this person may have done to you maybe they tried to do some memory spells to make you forget what it was but now it's coming back to you you're evolving you're having to heal so you have to face the things in the dark and this is one of the things that were in the dark now you're seeing through the veil about what's pretty much going on what you need to do um you're being guided to do this okay so yeah like i said you you have communication with the spirits you you're rooted in your earthly energy 
And maybe at the time that something happened or while this person was doing their trickery, you kept silent. Maybe you kept silent about whatever this was that was rooted down in your memory. If you have an ancestor altar or some sort of altar that you pray on, you go to this. This also are the spirits and voices that guided you, that protect you, to help you know what's going on. You're rising from the ash. Behold sight, O oh ancient ones, for there is magic in the darkest places if one dares to open their eyes. So yeah, with you looking at whatever this was hiding in the dark, okay, a lot of traumas, a lot of things that people have are situations that you maybe are left in the dark about or you choose not to look at it. You choose by, ooh, ooh, hallelujah, my bad y'all, but you choose not to look at it. You choose not to face what's in the dark. A lot of inner child wounds get healed because of a monster. You know, like when you get upset, when something hurts your feelings, when your inner child cries, you kind of got to look at it like they're in the dark or they're in their room and there's the closet with the boogeyman and they know the boogeyman's there and the boogeyman's going to show up at a certain time and they're afraid. And that's why you get so worked up and so hurt about certain things because something that may have happened to you, you didn't express it, you didn't face it, you know? But you've been facing your traumas, you faced this one because you had to do it in order for this person to get the fuck up out of your energy. This person was lingering in your energy for a while, okay? They thought that they were rooted maybe in your energy, but you've healed the good witch, okay? Whatever negative, like with them, being attached to them would send you a lot of negativity, so they really, it's kind of like, in a way, they felt like they were beating karma. They could do fucked up things to people, but just because they were in your energy, then their karma would be slowed down and they can get away with it just a little longer type of energy. All right. So you had to clear yourself with this energy. You were spiritually guided to do so. Um, you were also spiritually guided if you had to get away from this person physically as well. Um, ever since then, you could have possibly, like I said, been healing, being an herbalist, using crystals and herbs. If you haven't, if you do feel this person in your energy or you just got rid of this person, either way, use these crystals and herbs to always regenerate you and heal you because you are an earthly witch, okay? You are a, um, what is that, an earth angel, okay? And the underworld also protects you. This person could have possibly went out and uh, tried to... I hear, I heard cast your life away, okay? So this person could have been casting spells to try to take your life away, maybe, if not from situations, uh, at your actual life. You are warned about this, okay? Yeah, you and whatever spirit this was, you, your higher self, and your guardian spirit were warning uh, you about this person. They guided you away from this person, and your ancestors watched as this person maybe stalked you in your sleep. They protected you from this situation, can lift the nakedness hidden within the vows made in silence yes your ancestors watch what this person would do to you as you slept or try to do to you as you slept you had protection but they just followed this person they watched this person this person dug a very deep hole for themselves you were always protected in the midst of this but it also was a learning process it was things that you had to learn but it's something about someone stalking you in your sleep and your ancestors catching them doing so <clears throat> this person thought they were going to weave uh, uh, an evil web of deception. Maybe this is what they were doing in the dark. While you were in your life purpose, this person didn't like that you were in your life purpose. It made them jealous. All right. And that's why they did what they did. They were trying to conjure some stuff to release a ghost maybe towards you. And your ancestors was like, yeah, fuck no, bro. It's not happening. All right, so that is why they are helping you reflect on whatever past situation this was that you may have pushed down I'm hearing past life regression. So y'all got probably a couple ancestors that, you know, while you're sleeping, put you through a state of hypnosis to show you what's going on. You know, it's not literally a state of hypnosis, but it's kind of like that, okay? They put you in certain things or around certain, you know, things in your dream for you to realize so when you wake up, you can kind of analyze it. You can kind of figure out what's really going on. And they had you reflecting on maybe a situation in the past. 
Um, you could have been helped out with the situation. Of course, you're out here listening to tarot. So you could have got a tarot reading on the situation. If you read tarot yourself or someone close to you does, you could have got confirmation about whatever this situation was that you were reflecting on. Okay. And this was like the last thing that this person wanted you to do, but this is the last thing that you needed to do in order to receive your harvest. It was a time for you to call upon the voices that stir your senses. Okay. So whatever it was that you were keeping down, it was kind of holding you back, kind of distracting you from your journey so you were supposed to speak out about it here we go again cast an unforgiving how so you had to like someone tried to cast something at you and i think if it was like someone tried to send because i said they were out for blood it's like thriller shit so if somebody tried to send out a war call you sent one right back they didn't expect that but you sent it because you worked too motherfucking hard to get this far for somebody just to throw you okay they tried to come back and they they knew you were receiving your harvest and you had to hide it you knew if you got it you got to hide it from these people because i'm getting like maybe some in the background these people maybe wanted to burn it down so you had to hide it you're still hiding it behind your your back because the spirits let you know that this person is coming okay you've already reflected on the situation you you you've tapped in with divination, you've got the concrete evidence about how you need to move or how you need to be in this situation. That's why you're guided and you're protected while you sleep. You have nothing to worry about. But I guarantee you, your spirits are letting you know that this person is stalking you while you sleep. I hear gang stalking you while you sleep. And then they wanted to cast some ending or cast a ghost to you. These people could possibly be outside of your home chanting, trying to cast things towards you. And you feel it. Maybe your spirits wake you up. Maybe you've been having a lot of dreams recently. All right. But this is just a part of the transformation. This is a part of your third harvest is you recognizing what this was going on in the dark The things that are happening now were already going on But now it's coming across to your senses because you've been awakened to it This person is grieved because they are no longer attached to you But they're attached to whatever they call for you because you have triple protection I'm hearing triple stage darkness The mother mary could possibly be protecting you and also communicating with you While you're using your intuition in order to get elders Like you got a lot of ascended masters and spirits that are highly like you got a lot of primordial spirits and energies protecting you literally the underworld so death itself in whatever form okay is protecting you guiding you your ancestors are a part of that that are protecting you and guiding you all right because you have a purpose you have a gift and it's passed through their bloodline so you got a bloodline to uphold you rebuilding a generation and that's why you have this protection you are a divine one these people didn't think you were these people thought you was just capping about being divine, maybe. And you showed your power. You showed how fertile you are because you keep moving forward. You're not stopping. Okay, whatever these roadblocks they were trying to send towards you, you weren't stopping. You kept growing. And they realized this person got to be blessed. But then they was like, well, where'd all the bullshit go? Right back on them, crawling up and down them, crawling in and out of them. I'm telling you, these people are haunted by a demonic energy that they tried to call and send towards you. And this entity is all over their ass. This person is tied to whatever entity this is now. That's why it's Thriller. This person did beast out. Okay, they planned on coming towards you, but you are protected. They could have been also doing some sort of candle magic with others that your elders caught on to. Or this could possibly be your elders in the spiritual realm gathering together. Like I said, you probably possibly have have an altar you could have been praying you know what i'm saying and these spirits that you have on this altar that are actually gathered around this altar because you could have seen the altar like it's just a place you know where you pray and you know your spirits are there but they are actually around that altar moving Ooh, moving and making ways for you yeah these are the people these are your ancestors people from the graveyard okay and what could have possibly happened was this masculine Ooh, okay so this the masculine that has to do with this situation um <clears throat> maybe a couple other people as well but there's a masculine coming out real strong something about a graveyard okay i'm just gonna say that uh maybe someone's turning in their grave because he couldn't stop you or i'm gonna just say what i'm seeing your ancestors caught his ass trying to do something to you in your sleep and you are got divinely protected and guided and he um he 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 might be the one that got to go see the graveyard. He wanted it to be you. He wanted to end your life. And he might, in turn, be the one I'm hearing. I'm falling and I can't get up. He may pass out. But I know some other spirits are going to come get him. I, I don't know. Um, You will be having a rebirth, though. You don't have anything to worry about. This seduction, this shit this person was trying to do. Yeah, this person was trying to seduce you and then attach you to some sort of spirit. But they have... 
it's, it's some sort of sex demon they were trying to attach you to. It was a sex demon. They needed to get you to be attached to them. They needed that retrograde. I call back my excess energy. So they were trying to pass on this sexually transmitted demon to you. Um, they were doing some sort of ritual, okay? Um, and I think that they're feeling now the reflex of the ritual that they did, like the haunting of the spirits. Yeah, here we go, haunted. Like the haunting of the spirits, this person did some sort of ritual and now they're feeling the effects of it because you have detached yourself completely. Yes, you have completely healed and that's why you're able to get this rebirth. All right, that's why you were guided to know that this person was coming. Look at here, you might have kissed a lot of frogs, honey. You might have kissed a lot of frogs, and this is one of them ex frogs that was trying to bring his ass back. See how you keep standing in front of this window like you know this person coming? Yeah, this person tried to do some sort of ritual that was going to be a containment spell. They wanted to keep you contained, uh, but they invoked some sort of power within you. It was like once. It's this. I'm, it's, I'm just getting transmutation. Like whatever they sent towards you, they released and invoked the power within you that has them immediately attached to whatever it is that they were trying to send for you. So whoever this is, Hayden, they was being pretty weird about it. <laughs> yeah, they were being pretty weird about it. This person's having a reality check though, because something is under their bed. Jesus Louise, yeah, they got something under their bed. Maybe they tried to send something to you under your bed. All right, ooh, and they got five years bad luck as well. Some about them, they mama don't like them. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, somebody could have had a father that maybe violated them. Maybe that was like some father issue that maybe attached this masculine to you. This masculine could have sent a lot of people to try to come and take your life from you. They lost a relationship from trying to bind themselves to you. Okay, so maybe they wanted to bind themselves to you and you lose your relationship, but they lost theirs in return. So they're cyber stalking you right now. They want war with you. They could possibly be attached to some, you know, uh, hidden Nazi spies or, you know, some people set up to watch you. So if you got a gang stalker situation going on, this could be a person that's involved in some Rico crimes. And they were trying to, you know, get one up on you by doing some ritual, some sort of magic to make you want to sleep with them and call them back in to attach you to some spirit and take your life, child. But apparently it didn't work in their favor. All right. These people could have people also staying in random buildings and houses next to you doing death spells on you okay while you're um pregnant if you're not actually pregnant then this has to do with your fertility like a business or something um someone did a return to sender or everything that they were doing this death spell was returned to sender on their ass okay you are protected and this was the last attempt at a kill that they tried to do they wanted to come in and maybe rob you um someone lost the vehicle in this situation if it wasn't you maybe it was them i'm hearing could it possibly be them because the repo man came and got their vehicle um someone's currently incarcerated now you're gonna get a new home because these people wanted you homeless um they could have also been using these x points portal travel so if they were in this uh rico crime situation with people who were trying to gang stalk you and all that shit they were um what's that astral traveling using these portals to maybe astral travel so like i said these people may sit out your house and sit out in front of your house and chant they were using these x portals in order to do so try to start trying to start some sort of spiritual warfare um and it was some inner child shit this person has some mommy issues and this person tried to blame it on you or use you because of their mother issues and their mother really don't deal with them like that or like them like that it's pretty weird um, I'm also hearing their mother isn't their real mother. This could have been a situation where whoever this is attacking you, doing all this shit to you, they're doing it because they need to heal their inner child. But that's because their mother, the mother that they have, is actually not their real mother. Whatever group this person was born in, um, I'm hearing born in it and raised in it using civilian gang stalkers and a family member is possessed. Be Listen, <laughs> this person has a lot of issues going on in their life and they were attached to this spirit whether they knew it or not already they just tried to invoke something that maybe could have been a possible i don't know some something that the ancestors could have used this individual is attached to something that he was born into it was a lot of shit going on between his mama and his daddy i'm thinking that his mother might have been switched at birth because his father was a part of this organization he had a lot of holes he kept this one 
Man, Masonic sacrifice. I'm telling you, he got a lot going on. And they were trying to make you a Masonic sacrifice, okay? So this person with this pedophilia, that could have possibly been your father. They could have been in the same organization, connected, trying to uh, make you this Masonic sacrifice. So after your father could control you, he sent someone else towards you. And this person has some mommy issues, some real issues. Um, they were working with this possessed family member of yours who could have been this father figure. And they were, like I said, trying to make you a uh, Masonic sacrifice. They were hexing your finances. Like I said, they didn't want you to have any place to stay. Now, they aren't going to have any places to stay. Um, they're illusionists, scammers, and liars, okay? You were divinely guided away from these people. You possibly had a brother who could have been in on it. Damn, your baby daddy was in on it. Listen, everybody was in on trying to make you a Masonic sacrifice, okay? You have broken generational curses and they hate that. You got away from all of these misogynistic people that didn't like you, these prejudiced people that didn't like you, all right? Somebody, baby mama, was doing some damn spells on you last night. These people are now banished from you or you need to banish these people if you have not. Oh, yeah, you have because you done won the battle, baby. All right, you have won the battle. These people are banished. I'm here. you going to hell. Damn, and somebody, whoever did this spell work last night, who tried to send some killers towards you to stop you, they afraid of you because they know they got 10 years bad luck, bad, bad luck off the top. They're part of some Olympian bloodline. Use the voodoo priestess to try to take your life from you last night, child. These people are really, really tripping because you're still alive. They might have sent somebody to sit in front of your house in a nice white Subaru today to see that you're still alive. All right? That was specific. But, hey, let's go ahead and clean the table off. I hope everybody got what they needed from their reading. And whoever that was sitting in that, that Subaru, uh, if it wasn't white or silver, that's specifically for somebody. So if you saw a weird car sitting out here watching you today, they were trying to test and see if you were alive. Anytime you see them random cars sitting outside your house, turn your Wi-Fi off and make you a little harder to find. All right, y'all. This is it. This is all, my loves. I'm going to go ahead and clean this table, like I say, and get into another reading. And I will see y'all in the next one.